Hello, this is Samsa again, and today we are playing something a bit different. So I've recently played a bunch of Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup, and I've actually done relatively good in this game. Of course, I'm not really a good player, and I'm probably not going to get far in this uh, sort of a let's play thing of Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup, but I. I figured that I should probably record some of this because I've enjoyed this game and I want to highlight it to those of you who might be interested in these sorts of roguelike games. So, uh, indeed, this game is a uh, true roguelike, so it's it's seriously hard. It's very hard, and it follows the traditional roguelike theme of going into a dungeon in search of uh, an amulet. Uh, in this case, I think there are some orbs of some sort that you need to find and then bring back to the surface. Never done that and probably never will, but because this game is... is <laughs> it's very hard. And I've never been really able to uh, even get deep enough to find those. But I've, I've enjoyed this, and I have enjoyed this more than any other roguelike game I've played. I've played quite a few. I've played like Adam, uh, NetHack, uh, Angband. Uh, didn't really play Angband that much, but I've, I've I've played plenty of dungeon crawl. And if we go to my high scores, you can see that I've actually gotten pretty far. Dungeon level five with my and yeah, I'm I'm really bad at uh, inventing names. I played a couple of runs with Exorc because I wanted to find out how long Exorc would last and if you are a Linux user then you might find that joke potentially funny, not really. But yeah, I've played mostly as Samsai, that's my... Samsai is my name so I I just used that. I'm... I'm yeah, I know, I'm, I suck. I have no imagination. But I've got into dungeon level 5 with a couple of characters and that's, in my opinion, that's very nice. Of course, some people are probably going to be a lot better at this game, and they are just going to laugh at my mistakes when I eventually make them. But yeah, so um, I think we should probably just head in, and I will, I will try to explain some game mechanics as we go. Yes, so if you are a, sort of a newbie, then you might uh, it might be a bit easier for you to follow the game. Uh, that's why I've played. I'm playing the tiles version, which has graphics, so it's po possibly a bit more interesting to look at. So first of all, we need to select which species we are going to want to be. I've played a couple of good runs as a ghoul and as a demon spawn. Those are two of my favorite. Uh, races. Draconian wasn't bad either, but I think... Uh, should I go with something simpler? Uh, I've never played a kobold. They can and will eat any meat. Oh, that's interesting. Fragile but multi-talented. That might be something interesting to try. Um. Yeah, actually, let's go with Draconian. Uh, I I like the Drago, uh, Draconian race uh, because they can do a bunch of mage stuff, which I like. Mages are a bit di more difficult to play than like warrior classes because warriors focus on melee, which is quite simple. And with mages, you of course need to uh, be a bit more careful with what you do because your spells can sometimes go wrong and yeah, they are not that great at doing melee stuff. We could of course play a zealot, which would also include the uh, religion. Uh, religion is something that can be useful. I've liked death knights, they are uh, seriously nice in my opinion. Let's do a death knight, and then we get to select our Weapon. I think I'm going to go with a uh, mace. Yeah, let's go with a mace. Okay, so yeah, welcome to the dungeons of Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. And uh, this is us, our little draconian 
And uh, you can see my stats here. This is my inventory and stuff. I'm I'm not that hardcore, so I'm probably going to use the GUI a lot more than other players. Usually you play uh, dungeon crawlers like uh, Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. Uh, well, maybe I should talk about uh, roguelikes. Uh, but usually you play them using the keyboard, and I do have some knowledge, and by the way, that was a rat, I just killed it. Uh, so I know some of these key uh, combinations that we can use, and wow, we got a shield, that's nice. Because we don't use spells as the death knight, we only use our abilities, I don't think our chances of casting those things are going to be diminished by us having a shield. If you play a mage, you will want to optimize your... Oh, that's a bat. Yeah, we are, we're just mowing through this stuff because uh, we are relatively powerful early on. That's why I like the Death Knights. Usually problems arise when... Ah, uh, I need to destroy this plant. Can I actually do that? It's lightly damaged. I think I could technically destroy this plant. It's just going to take a while. Uh, where was I? So, oh, yeah, I was talking about keyboard shortcuts. So I do know some, and I'm going to use those when I when I just remember to do that. But I often play with my I I often play like a noob, basically by clicking stuff. Uh, but you can play this game completely without using the uh, mouse if you want to. And you can also play this in true roguelike mode where you only have like letters instead of graphics. But I imagine that having some graphics is probably going to make this a lot more interesting to you. Uh, but as a, as a Death Knight we have one ability that I seriously like. So we have a, a, a cockroach here and with our with the powers of Uradem Lemno the god of something rather which what was that actually i think they're your the dark so it's an evil god and he likes undead so that's what we are going to do we are going to animate the remains and now we have ourselves a little minion and he's going to be fighting for us when we just find something nice for him to kill or it, it's a cockroach, really. Uh, but yeah, that's one thing that we can do as a death knight. We can... Uh, yeah, let's kill that goblin. And now, another thing we can also do with corpses is we can butcher them. So we need to... Sometimes we need to decide what we want to do with certain corpses. And also I'm going to rest up just to heal a bit. It's never a good idea to go into combat without having full health, it's probably going to cause some uh, problems if we keep on doing that, and I'm going to just use the keyboard for now. And by the way, every time we kill stuff, our god is going to be even more pleased with us. So our... Okay, so uh, I think, yeah, my ball python flesh has rotted, so I think I'm just going to drop it. No reason to eat meat that's rotting. We will find better meat eventually. And because we are a draconian, the, it prevents us from using any armor. Also, oh, there's another cockroach. Well, this is good. So, uh, uh, and by the way, I'm using the O key to quickly explore the level. That's a good one to know. Because it makes the whole game a lot easier. Let's kill this... Uh, Gecko. Should be fairly easy to do that. Okay, the gecko is dead. And we're not really all that hungry, so I think I'm probably just going to animate him and just wait. Uh, but yeah, okay, it's, it's, it's your friend, especially when you are on these lower levels where there is stuff that's not really all that scary. Um, that's a gecko. I will probably want to butcher that so that I get some meat. Well, let's wait just a bit and let's quickly explore the level. So the O key is going to just move you around on the uh, dungeon, so you can explore the level by do that by, by doing that. And it's also going to pick up certain items like scrolls. 
and also po uh, potions and stuff like that. And it's also going to stop every time you see something that's interesting. I'm going to just charge forward. These guys are relatively easy to kill. Uh, a bat, probably not worth animating. Bats are not really all that great. Uh, let's just quickly explore. We might want to test out those scrolls in a bit. So, uh, in a typical roguelike fashion, uh, the scrolls are always randomized. And we are hungry, so we can eat that bat flesh. Actually, we should have eaten the gecko flesh because it's a bit older. So now we are probably going to end up with some rotten flesh in our inventory. And that's a bat. Uh, a rat, not a bat. So let's butcher that. And the the gecko flesh is rotted, or has rotted. I'm speaking half German here. And another bat. Uh, so what was it? Yeah. Uh, so these are randomized every time. So I can't even figure out what these uh, scrolls might do. So they have random effects. Uh, of course, if we use them, we will possibly identify what they do. And actually, I might want to do that on this uh, on this scroll. Okay, so that was a curse armor scroll. So these are bad. We don't want them. Uh, so as you can see, these scrolls can have negative effects every now and then. Let's see what this does. Maybe it's uh, nothing happens. And what about this? That's a scroll of fear. So now we don't have any enemies here, so that's basically unnecessary. But if we had some enemies there when we casted that, then we would have been able to scare them away. Uh, that meat is, yeah, it's it's awful. We don't want that. So I might as well just cast my animate remains ability, and that way we have another. Minion. Uh, that goblin is not, probably not going to be worth pick, uh, even animating. So let's. These bats are annoying. Hopefully, my minions can take care of him. Oh, the bat killed the gecko. Oh, that bat is just way too powerful. Yeah. I actually, I might want to. Yeah, I'm. I'm going to just animate you because you just killed all of my minions. Uh, let's do auto explore another rat. Uh, do I want a rat? Probably not. I, I'm I'm just going to chop you into pieces. Ah, that goblin is throwing rocks at us. But my bat is, <laughs> my bat just kills it. Excellent. I don't want to use any throwing weapons or any daggers. And by the way, I should have probably done this a bit earlier. Uh, let's eat and wait for that goblin to come around. I'm going to animate you. Also, we should probably uh, manage our skills a bit. So at the moment, all of these skills are the skills that we are leveling up. So invocations is going to be the skill that we use to animate remains. We, we want this to be good, because we don't want to miss any of those invocations. Uh, but especially fighting and mazes are going to be important if I want to keep fighting, uh, like melee style. Dodging and shields, also good. Especially shields might be important now that we have a shield, so I might actually... Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to accelerate shields. That way we level up that a bit faster, but we still uh, dedicate some of our experience towards other skills. And I'm going to wait just a bit to get some mana pa uh, mana back. And we are done exploring, so that means everything that we can explore on this level has been explored. So it's time to go downstairs, I think. There's really... I guess we could test one of these potions, so let's do that. So that's a brilliance potion. And a potion of magic. And what about this one? Okay, that was a heal wounds. Okay, so we we wasted those, but it doesn't matter because this bit shouldn't be too hard. Just as I get surrounded, 
I am... Okay, this is bad. And I'm going to die. There is no way out of this. Okay, I... I... I did bad. So as I die, I'm just going to renounce my religion. Yes. Yes. And we have lost our religion and we have dead. Uh, we have dead. Seriously, so my English these days is just awful. And I have no idea why. Okay, but I, we, we died. So that was one run of uh, Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. That went well. So we had a scroll of Identify. Which we didn't happen to use. Sad. But it, it, it's not bad, it's not that bad. We didn't do too well, we are probably on the, like... Yeah, we are somewhere around here. We didn't do that well.